Greetings, in this video I'll be showing you how to complete all challenges and quests to unlock Indiana Jones and his edit style and all of his set. The first task is to acquire the Durburger relic from the temple and the ruins in a single match. So first up we are going to go to the temple here and grab the little burger. After that we're gonna head southeast from the temple. So you can look at your compass at the top of the screen. Grab the grapple glove and swing on some trees. Swinging on some trees will complete one of the challenges. After that, we're gonna head to the ruins to grab the final treasure that we need to get in one game. And of course, let's not forget opening chests at Shifty Shafts, which can take up a few games. While we're doing all of that, we can also find a car or any kind of vehicle, not an animal, a vehicle, and deal damage while switching seats and get on the passenger seat. That's the first set of challenges for Indiana Jones. Of course, we unlock the base style for him and all of his other cosmetics. So moving on to the next set of quests. So we're going to start off by opening up the temple at Shuffled Shrines. This temple changes every time and these symbols change every game. They are random every game. So the first symbol, okay, is located at the top left corner of the temple, so right there. After that, we're going to move on south and head down into the underground area of the temple down these stairs. And that's the second symbol right there. After that, we're going to head north. There will be a tent, a red tent, and it will have a symbol. And the final symbol is located in the wood area, located southeast. After we get the final symbol, we're going to put it in on these cones, and it will open the temple. After the temple opens, watch out before you step inside, there will be some traps on the right hand side. Make sure to destroy them or deal with them in some kind of way. You can also try running past them, but you will take 90% damage. Make sure you grab the idol, then go on the right side and break these vines, these leaves right here that you see, this wall, that contain the secret treasure, the vault as you may say. After that, we are headed, we're gonna head back to the main room where we grabbed the idol and then we're gonna run outside just run 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 because the giant rock is rolling behind you this will also trigger the challenge that requires you to have rolling boulders if you don't manage to finish your rolling boulders challenge just head northeast and next to sanctuary there will be a boulder right there as you can see here on the map as i'm showing you in the gameplay right here after that, we need to stash a mythic or exotic item. The closest one to me was the Joneses. The Ludwig NPC sells you the dub. So after that, it costs 600 gold. And after that, we're going to have to stash it inside of a tent. Tents are randomly spawned. I found mine at the sanctuary, but of course, this is random. All you have to do is just put it in one of your empty slots and it will give you the challenge.
All that remains is to deal pistol damage and play stop 5. Pistol damage is fairly easy. It should take you 2-3 to three games or maybe in one game. I did it in one game. But uh, yeah, after that, all you have to do is place top 5. And it doesn't matter if you finish the game or not because the moment you hit top 5, you will be granted the final reward, which is the glider. Last but not least, I'm going to show you the Temple Explorer style gameplay of the Indiana Jones skin. Now, these are going to be all the cosmetics that we've unlocked. We have the loading screen and the amazing emergency raft glider. But yeah, let's uh, see what he looks like in game. Overall, I think it, this is a pretty solid skin. I really like this style. It's pretty cool how his uh, his clothes are uh, are half broken. But anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Also, this is the emote, yes. And uh, I think it's a it's pretty good skin. So it's it's worth doing the challenges. It's really fun. I actually quite enjoy doing those challenges. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And you f if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and leave a like. And uh, use my credit code Neon Slice in the item shop or the Epic Game Store.